When I first heard about the tragedy at the museum, I just couldn't believe it. I thought people were joking that they made it up. And then I saw the video and it was, it was just, I was just stunned by it. Greg Wallace and myself, Greg Wallace manages our, our Heritage Center and our historic fleet. Uh, he and I traveled down there uh, shortly after all the cars were, uh, were extracted from the hole and we made some assessments on which cars uh, we thought were best candidates for restoration and obviously this millionth was one of them. It's, there's only one millionth car and it's a really pretty big milestone in the, in the Corvette history. Added back here and we started opening it up and and one of the cool things though when we opened it up you saw all the signatures of the employees you know that, that they had signed individual parts as the vehicle was being built and that's throughout the whole vehicle inside of the fascias the frame and you know you know you can kind of envision them doing that because they didn't sign a complete vehicle they com they signed it as it was being built and we have to save those signatures. There's only one part in which we're trying to figure out how can we save that signature. Everything else we know we can save. And uh, we're gonna save that signature. I'm not sure exactly how, but we're gonna do that. We expect to complete this in time to have it at the uh, museum's uh, event on Labor Day weekend of this year. To be very honest with you, um, the cost and, and manpower estimate on this is whatever it takes to do it right.